Hello reformers and welcome to Monster Hunter World. Now this is not the beginning of the game, there's a reason for that. Unfortunately I did make a recording of the beginning of the game with all the cutscenes and our character creation and all that stuff. There's Roger by the way, that's our Palico who's a little cat who helps us out I guess. And uh, yeah, unfortunately all of the cutscenes are copyrighted by Capcom. So unfortunately I won't be able to show you those. But we have arrived here in Astera, which is the main hub for the game, and uh, we're going to be entering our living quarters and choosing a weapon. Now do bear in mind that I am very new to the Monster Hunter franchise. I am never before having played a game of Monster Hunter, so this is going to be extremely fun for me, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the journey alongside me as well. Alright, so there is apparently a weapon from the item box here. Let's have a look. Alright, so do bear in mind that, as I say, I'm new to Monster Hunter, so I really do not know which weapons are going to be good for someone like me who has never played the game before. So I can assume that maybe we're just going to go for something simple. Anyway, let's have a look here. Different weapons offer different combat experiences. Great swords hit with devastating force, while the sword and shield allow for quick mobile flurries. The heavy bow gun, while unwieldy, fires multiple... Oh, Multiple powerful blasts, eh, kind of, and so on. Choose any one weapon and take to the field. You can visit the training area after equipping a weapon by speaking to the housekeeper. Right. And then we have armor as well. They're comprised of five pieces. Each piece offers some amount of defense plus equipment skills to aid you in your hunts. You can mix and match pieces however you like to suit your playstyle. Right. Okay. Exit the tutorial. Yeah, sure. I'll definitely exit that. Okay, so currently I'm using a hunter's knife. Obviously, it's not very good. So we're going to be changing our... Mm, okay, a metal bag pipe? Really? Is it? Is it good? I don't know. Iron hammer. What? What is this? Ah. You can only select a kinsect when an, when a, an insect glaive is equipped. Right. Well, that's interesting. Okay, I guess we're going to just go for a standard buster sword then, I guess. Something like that would probably be absolutely fine. What about the armor, though? Ah, uh, we can actually change our armor around a little bit and we can see what's going on here. This is the best for defense. So I guess we're just going to go for that. I mean, I just like to get as much defense as possible, but this is obviously going to make it... Is it going to make it difficult for me to roll like this? Is it similar to Dark Souls in that respect? I guess we'll find out. We look kind of weird now, though. Want to get going? Ah, your partner's got a quest for you. I think she's over at the canteen. Once you're ready, head to the canteen. I'll be there, waiting with a quest. You can oh, get more familiar we with should probably speak to the housekeeper, here. though. Just talk to the housekeeper to get started. I know this looks like some old closet that we turned into a makeshift room for you Mew Hunters, but that's not the case. I promise. <laughs> they did that. They did that. It's fully furnished with everything Meowster needs. You have your very own equipment box where you can manage and change your gear. I just hope you don't mind changing in front of others because you have roommates. Didn't they tell you about that? No? Ah. Okay. Moving on, your room also comes with an area to manage your Palico's gear, right next to your bed even. Convenient, right? Oh, one more thing. If you need access to the training area, just come talk to me. I am here to lend a poor 24-7. I aim to police. Ah, yes, of course you do. Alright, so let's go to the training area real quick and let me just uh, try a couple of... Ah, hello. Okay, so there's a couple of combos here that we can do. Okay, let's run through the hunting basics. First, ready your weapon. Ready your weapon. Okay, well, I... The great sword is a powerful close I, I don't know whether I really readied it. Open. There's guard. Yeah, okay, well so there's guard. There's wide slash. Okay, wow. Very slow, isn't it? Well, obviously, it's a massive sword, so I would expect that to be the case. I do not want to use a potion. Did I just use a potion? Yeah, maybe I did. I'm not used to having B be an attack button. I'm much more used to X being an attack button. Thankfully, I'm not drinking the potion just yet. I think I have to hold it to be able to drink it. I'm actually at full HP, so maybe it doesn't even matter. Okay, so there's overhead slash. And let's do rising slash. Okay, so there's rising slash as well. And we have charged slash. Okay, and then we have obviously wide slash, which I've already done. There we go. And then we can combo including true charge slash. So if I press this, and then this, 
and then that. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> and then I was actually attacked by the barrel itself. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, well, I think, I, I think I've got the hang of it. All right, let's, uh, let's go back then, shall we? Ah, so this seems to be the armory where we can actually purchase a couple of weapons if we don't have time to craft them, as far as I'm aware. That's exactly what they told me was the case, at least. And uh, we're on our way to the canteen now to speak to the handler. Okay, partner, time to get down to business. The guild teamed us up for a reason. From now on, you're my hunter and I'm your handler. I'm the bread to your butter, got it? Uh, the Fifth Fleet's first mission is to survey the Jagras' habitat. Then we gotta call a certain number of them in order to secure the area. We can depart as soon as you sign up for the Jagras of the Ancient Forest quest. What are we waiting for? A wild the and wondrous new world is waiting for us out there. Alright, so let's, uh, let's post a new quest then, I guess. Complete these missions to advance the story. And then we have obviously optional quests. These include favors for NPCs. And then investigations. These special quests are issued by the resource center and can only be taken a limited number of times. And then we have events, which are special quests exclusive to online play. All right. So let's do it. Jagras of the Ancient Forest. The time limit is 50 minutes. We only get 720 Zs. I'm not entirely sure what the Z stands for at the moment. We haven't really gotten into the money side of things just yet. You're free to explore Astera until preparations for the quest are complete. Grab a meal, shore up your supplies, get the latest gear, adjust your equipment, and organize your items. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm I'm perfectly I'm perfectly ready. Let's do it. Depart on the quest. Right, okay, so yeah, there is actually a supply box over here which we can choose to take a couple of things like first aid and hey, things like that. We actually don't need any of this. Well, we we already have this stuff as far as I'm aware, don't we? Don't we have that? Apparently we don't have that already. Okay, well, we don't even need to take that either, so that's great. Okay, so now what we need to do is go and slay those Jagras. And uh, we can use the item bar right there. Okay, so we've got communication and everything. Wow, that's... Greetings! Be careful. Nice to meet you. Yes. Okay, so we can also lock on with that. Okay. Just getting... Uh, a little bit more assorted to things. Okay, so that is first Ready aid and whetstone attack. and all that stuff. Okay, nothing to really to worry about there. When you're investigating or gathering items, you'll generally want to keep your weapon sheathed. I'll mark gathering sites and monster positions on the wildlife map for you. You can gather honey and mix it with a potion to make mega potions. Oh, mega potions. Thank you very much. Okay, so it seems like we are automatically mixing that, are we? Seems like Over we may here. be. Alright, so obviously this is still very much the uh, beginning you stages of the game. Great for getting a monster's attention or creating a distraction. Right, okay, so we have a slinger. Slinger ammo that can be used to hit far away plant life and bombs. Over here. Okay, so do I do I really want to hit anything with this? Or? Of Jagras. Those are the monsters we're after. Let's see how you hold up when you're on your own. Right, okay, so there they are. There are the Jagras, and that is who we are going to be fighting in just a second. So I guess I'm just going to use a slinger just to uh, draw them over here, I suppose. And we're going to see how it goes. Oh, it seems like they're running. Oh, some of them are actually running away. Don't let them get away. Okay, don't let them get away. Oh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, field team leader, for helping me out a great deal. Not. Obviously, he's not going to be helping me out too much. What is this? Mining outcrop. Oh, thank you. Oh, I should probably hold that down, shouldn't I? Over here! All that's more difficult to procure than iron ore produces fine metal. Oh, okay. Now, do bear in mind that this game does have a huge amount of crafting in it, so we are going to obviously need as many resources as we can get our hands on. Whoops! Well, 
I must say that uh, this sword is going to take a little bit of getting used to, because obviously it is very, very slow. Dodge their attacks. Don't forget, you can guard too. Look out! Your health is low. Keep your distance and use a potion. Keep it together, okay? Well, our main objective is complete, but uh, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to get away here. Ah, there we go. Our quest was complete. Not too bad. Although, well, <laughs> still need to get a bit more used to the weapon. Anyway, there we go. Okay, so let's just, uh, I guess we'll just take all. Ah, oh, Palico leveled up. That's nice. Fine work taking down those Jagras. Hmm, so there's no difference in their habitat, but their numbers are increasing. I see. Uh -huh. It may be stating the obvious, but the Jagras aren't the only danger lurking around these parts. Er oh, connection to the session has been lost. Ha ha ha. Continuing the game in offline mode. Thanks. Thanks a lot for that. <laughs> okay, well, we're also receiving reports of a Kestadon herd getting out of hand. This must be all because uh, Zora Magdaros made landfall. It's got everything riled up. Listen That's up. a very, very large monster, by the way, if you're not familiar. Like, I'm not really, but uh, I've seen it and you, you probably haven't, or maybe you have. It's a very large, very, very dangerous thing. Anyway, I'm going along. Wouldn't want you to get hurt. Ah, thanks. Uh, tw turn on voice chat function? No, thanks. <laughs> all right. Now that you've got some materials, why don't we head over to the smithy to see what you can do with them? Ah, yes. Okay, so we'll speak to the smithy in just a second. And we can also get my login bonus, apparently. So this is... Uh-huh. A, cu a couple of vouchers, by the looks of things. Oh, we also get a whole bunch of other stuff so because of the uh, Steam release, I guess. Because I'm playing on a PC, if you hadn't already guessed. I mean, I, I know that you can see the, uh, you know, the Xbox... Uh, display buttons, but uh, I'm using an Xbox 360 pad on a PC for that because uh, You know in games like these action games personally. I feel like a controller is a little bit more comfortable for me All right, so let's go and speak to the smithy then there are a whole bunch of quests around here as well Or at least people that you can actually speak to but obviously right now We're just gonna go up to the smithy and see what's going on there. Ah look who's back with materials step right up and welcome to the smithy You'll be needing my services a lot what I do for you is simple Whenever you go out in the field and gather materials, I turn those materials into weapons and armor. Okay, well, that's awesome. Alright, so you can use monster materials and ore to forge and upgrade equipment. Give the materials you earn as quest rewards, or carve them from monsters to the smithy to create new equipment for taking on even tougher monsters. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Alright, so let's upgrade. Can I upgrade my sword? It seems like I might be able to. First, select the weapon you want to upgrade. Okay, select a weapon and add it to the wish list. Okay. Well, I'm just going to do that then. Alright, so there's our weapon, and that's been increased, and now, aha, is that because I picked up, oh no, I just had some iron ore right there. Okay, so that's, that's actually pretty good, because we're now going to be able to pick up a little bit more iron ore. I need three, by the looks of things, malachite, or macalite, as it is here. Okay, it seems like it goes into a variety of different upgrades as well, as you can see. Well, this is going to be very interesting as we go through. We can also forge palico equipment, manage kinsects and things like that, but obviously I don't need to do that right now. Let's go and speak to our handler once again and see if we can maybe take on another quest. Right, so the next thing we need to take care of are those Kestadon. The chief said he'd be taking along with us. How about we start our search in the ancient forest and go from there? And I've got some good news. We handlers post all the leads we find up on the quest board. You can sign up for quests there too, so you don't always have to come all, all the way here. But then again, you miss out on all the eats up here. Alright, so we are going to be accepting that, aren't we? Okay, so is this an optional quest? No, no, we've already completed this, which is... What? Slay the Seven Jagras. Okay, so that's obviously optional, so if we, if if we want to do that again, then obviously we can for a little bit of cash, but uh, I think it's m a little bit easier to do the, the main one for the moment. 
Ah, lucky vouchers. Okay, when lucky vouchers are used when posting a quest, you'll receive bonus rewards upon completing it. Be sure to use vouchers whenever you have the chance. And they're obtained via login bonuses. One voucher is delivered each day, and you can claim up to five days' worth of vouchers at once. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Alright, so, yeah, let's use the voucher. Why not? I actually wonder what we're going to get as a bonus for that. Alright, so we are once again in the field, and we are going to be following our friend Field... Field uh, field leader, someone. I, I, I don't think they've told us his name or anything like that, so ah, we're just going to have to... Are. Yes, field team Those leader. My friend are Kestodon. Let's see you take him out on your own. Oh, did, did you not... You, I don't think you helped me before, mister. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to just be doing this myself by the looks of things. Uh, I move very slowly when I have this very large weapon in my hands, don't I? Yes. Okay, well, let's be see careful. what I can do here. They like to headbutt. Uh, okay. Okay, are these are these Kestodon? Yeah, I, I suppose they are. Oh, wait a minute. That's... Oh, the smaller ones are actually Kestodon by the looks of things. Oh, okay. Well, at least I know that now. Roger's getting a bit beaten up. Well, that was uh, a little bit more difficult than I anticipated, obviously, but uh, let's uh, do a little All bit right. of harvesting here. Let's look for another group. There Be we careful. go. The Castodon are the least of your worries. There are a lot bigger monsters lurking in this forest. The endemic life around here can come in handy during a hunt. Try to learn as much as you can about them. Be careful. Uh, apparently, that's the rest of the herd down there. Shall I use my sling? I guess. Just shoot a little bit of it. Uh, does that actually do anything? Kind of lets them know that I'm here, which is not great, I guess. I'm getting a little better at fighting at the moment. A little better. That just about wraps up our work here. Wait. Hey, come here. I think I found something. Uh, do I really want to go over there? Yeah, I guess we're going to have to in just a second, but I need to uh, retrieve a little bit of resources. You never know what you're going to need. Especially I don't. I certainly don't know what I'm going to need, being a beginner at this. Get out of here, birds. I need some stuff here. Thank you very much. probably going to be used for, I would assume, it's probably going to be used for armor. Oh, a great Jagras, huh? Oh, that, that's probably not going to be great. Did you get it? It's not going to be that great to fight it. Something's up with Now, now! Oh, wow. 
Did, did that thing just literally That's swallow it. the rest of the... All right, partner. Wow. New assignment incoming. Take down that great Jagras. Right, okay, I guess ready, I'm gonna do that. You can return to base and take on the great Jagras quest later. Wanna get going? Ah, uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm perfectly happy to take it on now if I have a good amount of durability on my weapon because it seems like durability goes down. You're going to need friends when you go up against some of the tougher monsters. In order for the scout flies to better track a target monster, we need to keep finding traces of it, like footprints, for example. Ah, uh, I see. So they're teaching us a little bit more about how to track a monster. Oh, okay. Good. You're turning up a lot of clues. Okay, we've tracked the Great Jagras enough for the scout flies to lead us to it. You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. Uh, I'm actually wondering whether he spotted me or not, because that was, I mean, that was pretty obvious that I was right there. And he's probably just going to swallow me whole, isn't he? I mean, let's face it. Monster's tired. Now's your chance to deal some serious damage. Oh, it's apparently tired now? Oh, okay. Well, I'm tired too. I mean, uh, yeah. All this running has certainly taken out of me. Let's get some honey. More mega potions can only be useful, I suppose. Let's see if we can actually take it out now instead of it having run away again. Ah, 
Ah, there we go. That's exactly what I was talking about when I was referring to the durability of the weapon. Okay, I'm not entirely sure if that actually did it. Now's your chance. Use the whetstone again if I can. Look, the monster's almost done for. Chances are it'll retreat to its nest to recuperate. No, 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 I don't want to do that. Thank you very much. I'm much too used to attacking with X. That took us a while, didn't it? That definitely did take us a while. Hopefully these other things are not gonna really like bother me that much, because I do want to pick up the various loot that was around here, if at all possible. Yes. Okay, well I think I've I think I've picked up everything, or at least I hope so. Because I'm out of time. Well, there we have it. Actually, didn't do that badly, I guess. But uh, obviously, still getting used to everything. And uh, we're going to take all the rewards. Thank you very much. Nice. Gained a little bit of extra money right there. We gained some research points. Our palico is leveled up like nothing else.
So, you think you found something that'll lead us to Zora Magdaros? Well, I'd send some researchers out right now, but not with a pissed off Puke Puke hanging around. I have no idea how to say that. Uh, yes, uh, Puke Puke territory, that's pretty deep in the forest. We'll be better equipped to take it on. Once our team from the resource center is done rebuilding the forest camp, once it's ready, we make our move. Until then, we do everything we can to help them get that camp up and running. Let's get to it. Once the All right. Camp is set up, you can so, go uh, yeah, the next hunt will obviously be after that Puke Puke thing. And, uh, yeah, if you want to see more of Monster Hunter World on the channel, then by all means, let me know. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.